Dr. Logan of Zootopia Animal Clinic. Five things to consider before buying or adopting a dog or cat, a new member of your family. First thing to consider, emotion. Are you emotionally ready to have a new family member such as dog or cat? Because having a dog or cat is a big responsibility and it takes a lot of patience. So, ang mga aso na makakulit, ang mga cat is very hard to train. So, are you ready? Is your heart ready to have a new family member? So, you have to consider your emotional status. So, being patient is number one when having a pet in your house. Second thing to consider, place. Do you have an enough space, especially dogs? Uh, dogs requires daily exercises. Do, do they have the enough space to do that? Or your cat, they tend to play as well because it's their nature. So you must have a place where they can live, where they can uh, run, where they can play. So you have to consider if you have that. Well, uh, that's the second thing to consider before adopting a new dog or cat. You must have a good place for them to live with. Okay? Third thing to consider, do you have enough time for them? So are you sure you can handle the attention that they need? Because you know, dog and cats, as I've said, they play, so they run, they want to love you. So do you have the time? that you can provide to them. You can have or you can give them the attention that they need. If you don't have that time, if you're a busy person, you might as well think. Think twice, think twice before you have a new dog or cat because time is very important. You must uh, offer a part of your lifetime to them. So you have to consider that. That's our third. You have to consider your time for them. Fourth thing to consider, do you have the enough knowledge regarding to your dog or cat? So if you're planning to buy a Siberian Husky, if you're, buy, or if you're planning to buy Chow Chow, if you're planning to buy Shih Tzus and many other kinds of dogs and as well as cats, do you have the enough knowledge about that specific breed? Because each breed has specific needs. So for example, uh, Siberian Huskies and Shih Tzus, they need uh, grooming. So are you aware of the responsibility that comes with the breeds that you're going to choose? So you have to consider the knowledge. If you have the enough knowledge about what you're going to do, it's for them. It's for their betterment. So consider that have the enough knowledge before buying or adopting a new dog or cat. Last thing to consider is, do you have the enough finances for your dog and cat? Because as you know, uh, having a dog or cat is like having a new family member. It's like having a new baby in your family. So it comes with a responsibility. Sinabi ko na nga ito kanina. Hindi lang sa pagkain, hindi lang sa shelter, hindi lang sa time, hindi lang sa attention. Because sa financial responsibility, we should have the enough finances to provide for them. Unless otherwise, you might as well think twice, thrice, bago kayo mag ng bago. Because uh, aside from those na pangangailangan, they also need veterinary medical needs. So can you provide them the vaccination that they need? Can you provide them the deworming that they need? Can you provide them the health uh, services once magkasakit sila? Because hindi lang sila basta-basta na pwede nyo lang uh, uh, alagaan and then bahala na kung magkaroon o meron. It's very irresponsible to do that. So that's why I'm uh, listing this as my last recommendation for you all before buying or adopting a new dog or cat. You have to be emotionally ready. You have to provide a place for them to live with. You have to have the time, enough time to offer to them. And you have to have uh, enough knowledge regarding to their breeds and their needs and also you have to provide financially for them. 
because everything comes with a big responsibility when it comes to having a new dog or cat. I hope you've learned something from uh, this video. Good health to all fur babies out there. Sana walang magkasakit sa inyo. And also sa inyo mga fur parents, I hope uh, you stay healthy para makapag-provide kayo ng mga pangailangan ng ating mga fur babies. And also, as always, be happy. Because may pilang ang buhay. So we have to cherish every moment of it. So, huwag na kayong maging negative, maging grumpy. Just be happy together with your fur babies. No? Pagkagaling sa mahabang araw, uuwi kayo, lalambingin nyo sila. It's, it's really comforting. So, I wish the best to every one of you. Thank you for staying and thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and uh, ring the notification bell for more notifications or para ma-notify kayo sa mga susunod kong video. So, again, thank you for watching. See you on my next video. God bless! Oh, 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 oh,